Jesus says, when ye fast. So fasting as a child of God is a matter of when and not if. It's a program that God has orchestrated in our lives as believers to embark on every time in the name of Jesus Christ. So I would like you to pay attention and listen to know why it is very important to fast and pray, and especially at 12 a.m. That is 12 o'clock midnight. Hallelujah. I'm going to be sharing with you six reasons. I would like you to stay tuned and listen to all of these reasons because God has ordained that you listen to these very reasons because you might just listen to one and log out, but God wants to speak to you in the fifth reason. So for that reason, I would like you to pay attention and be patient and listen all so that you could hear the reason God has for you. For any reason that you can't complete, then you can later on come and continue from where you left off. Amen? So that you get to know what God has in stock for you. Sign number one. Fasting at 12 a.m. enhances your viability in the altar of prayers. Because at 12 a.m. is when the heavens and the earth draw closer to each other. So at that very point in time, there is a window or a portal, so to speak, that gets your voice to be amplified in the realm of the spirit faster. Praise the Lord. That's why you see the disciples, they take advantage of the watch time, the watch hours, the time, the watch seasons, the praying times. Hallelujah. It's very, very imperative because at that very spot, you have a free flow. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So with that time, you will do well to maximize praying at 12 a.m. anytime you embark on a fast. Praise the Lord. You could pray at any time that this very video is emphasizing when you fast. Amen. As you do so, you begin to enjoy the benefit God has for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Sign number two. At 12 a.m., usually, these are the times that all the evil forces normally come out to carry out their heinous acts. Amen. So as such, it is going to be wisdom for you to be on a high alert. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says at the time when King was for war, David was back at home relaxing and he began to fall into all types of evil and atrocities. Praise the Lord. So as a kingdom soldiers, being that the kingdom of this world emulate what is going on in the kingdom of God and we are the children of God, the children of light. So if they at that time go out, you see them, if it is owls and birds, watch out at very 12 o'clock. That's when you begin to hear their sounds, making screeches all around at that very spot. So that goes to tell you that this is a very symbolic spiritual hour of activities, both from the dark side and the positive side where we belong, both at the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of his dear son, the kingdom of life, which is the kingdom of Jesus Christ. So you as a child of God, at that very point in time, it's very good for you to be on high alert. Praise the Lord. So wake up at that time as you fast. Amen. At that very spot when you pray, you hit the nail on the head. Hallelujah. Because at that very spot, you upset all the forces of darkness. Praise the Lord. So your body naturally, the natural inclination is to sleep. But however, the Bible says, as a good soldier of Christ, endure hardness. So this body must be brought under subjection. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, anytime you experience that your flesh is weak, that is the spot by which you are guaranteed by the backings of the Spirit to experience liberty and victory. Praise the Lord. That's why the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, it says, For we do not know what to pray as we ought to. Amen. But the Spirit help us in our infirmity. That is speaking about the weakness of the flesh and the spirit make intercession you know by groanings and every other way he could thereby helping us praise the lord so at that point you will do well to rise up and pray 
Pray for your destiny. Praise the Lord. At 12 o'clock, heaven pays attention to your voice. Praise the Lord. Sign number three. It pays attention to your voice because at that very point in time, your voice is being amplified. So as you come to the throne of grace where you obtain mercy to find help in the times of need, you plead your cause. Amen? At that very point. There was a reason in Luke chapter 18, right? That that persistent widow was approaching that man night and day. It's very imperative to pray night and day. But this very video is pivoting on 12 a.m. Praise the Lord. So at that very time, you saw anytime she persists, night at night, right? And day. But in this context, the night season was very key too, right? So the Bible says that she was heard. And so the king right now is Jesus Christ. So anytime we come at that very point in time, because of importunity, we are surely going to receive an answer. Praise the Lord. And Jesus gave an example of a man that went on a journey and he came knocking on the door and he wouldn't wake up and help him and give him some bread because he has a visitor, right? But the Bible says at midnight when he has gone to sleep with his children, they were all in the bed. But as he kept knocking because of imp his importunity, even though he had gone to sleep with his children, but he woke up and gave him as much as he needed. Now, that is a spiritual law there. Amen? Beyond just a parable, it signifies the importance of praying at midnight, 12 a.m. Praise the Lord. So as you fast, you couple with that very hour, a lot of things get to be done. And by the grace of God, I see in my spirit eye that your testimonies are already flowing in the name of Jesus Christ because you will never be stranded. Hallelujah. Because this is what God has orchestrated that we overcome. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Sign number four, why it is very important. Because at that very point, 12 a.m., your spirit is light. Usually, you don't have no food in your tummy. Amen? So, let's say you break your fast at 6 p.m. At 12 o'clock, you know, you'll have had nothing in your tummy. Praise the Lord. So, at that point, anytime your stomach is empty, the flesh is not receiving any strength. Amen? The way you know, it normally receives when, you're, when you are filled with food in you. Praise the Lord. So, at that point, your spirit man gain ascendance. Amen? Sharp. When you pray, you hear the prayer in your mouth like a sword. Literally, you could feel the way your prayers are piercing at that very point in time. Amen. Because your body is light. Amen. And your mouth is as sharp as a sword. Amen. Considering the word of God, the Bible says the sword of the Lord and the sword of Gideon. Praise the Lord. So that's the mystery at that very point. The sword of the Lord symbolizing the word of God. The sword of Gideon meaning your own tongue, your own word. So when you use the word of God on your own tongue, because naturally the power of life and death lies in the tongue, as a normal human being, whether you are born again or not, there is an enormous power deposited in our tongues because we shall have whatsoever we say, according to Mark eleven twenty three. Praise the Lord. So now you have the word of God on your tongue which is sharper than any two edged just word, and your tongue too also is a wall of fire. Amen? Praise the Lord. And by the time you combine these two dynamites, and you see an explosive result when you pray. In the name of Jesus. So seize this very opportunity at 12 a.m. Amen? By the hand of God, and pray out your heart. Amen? And you see your desires coming to pass like the dream of the night. Hallelujah. Literally, myself, this is what I've been practicing for some years now by the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 12 a.m. Amen. Even without a fast, I am there. Amen. So, but when you fast, you couple it at that very time, you know, it makes tremendous power available. Hallelujah. You maximize the time. Sign number five. When you pray at 12 a.m., usually the environment is calm. Amen. Because during the day, people are busy, up and running. Amen. You know, your prayer don't get to be fully concentrated, although we are admonished to pray during that time also. Like we saw in the case of the woman, she was praying day and night. Praise the Lord. But in this context, you know, we are 
focusing on 12 a.m. in this very video. Praise the Lord. Because at 12, most people are asleep. Praise the Lord. So you take opportunity of the serene environment. Praise the Lord. Amen. Through stillness, the voice of God is heard faster. Praise the Lord. So that's going to help a whole lot. And sign number six usually is the hour of one line prayer, so to speak. Amen. One line prayer. I cannot overemphasize the power of a one line prayer. Jesus Christ at midnight, he took his disciples, Peter, John, Amen, and James. They were there. Praise the Lord. And he went to pray just before his crucifixion. You know, the agony he experienced at that very Gethsemane when he went to pray. You know, he came back. He said, why can't you pray with me for an hour? They were just asleep. Praise the Lord. And he went saying the same thing. He repeated the same thing. While repetition in prayer is not allowed, there is a place for one line prayer. It was the same thing Jesus was repeating. Praise the Lord. Because that thing needed to be done. And as such, at that very hour, you know, God normally speaks. Amen. That was when he understood the will of God. Hallelujah. So at that very point is a point to really pray. Hallelujah. It is very important because he said, this time go ahead not bed by prayers and fasting. Amen. So at that point, you seize that opportunity. So many things to your advantage at that very 12 a.m. Then you begin to see your prayers get answered speedily. Amen. Sign number seven. At 12 a.m., that is usually the beginning of a new day. So as you begin to capture the day, commanding the day, you begin to see things happen in your prayers. Praise the Lord. So you go ahead and begin to pray at that very morning hour. Amen. Then you see that you're already in charge of that very day. Praise the Lord. Thereby begin to experience supernatural victory through your prayers. Praise the Lord. So take opportunity of that very hour. Praise the Lord. And you sure you are surely going to experience supernatural turnaround more than usual. Amen. So this is a bonus point. Amen. Because usually after prayers at 12, you go to bed. So thereby your spirit receiving all the signals of what is going on. So God could be telling you what your prayers have achieved. And, you know, God will be revealing to you because anytime we pray, God answers. So if there are forces, you begin to see many attacks. At that point, these are all the pitfalls that are keeping you in that very spot. So as we keep on praying, persisting in that very prayer point, because usually during sleep, we receive prayer points. Amen. Like I usually say, there's really no, 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 no bad dreams. Praise the Lord. So if it is bad, you pray. You get direction, what to say, what to pray, right? And if it is good, then you know what is coming up, amen? But so as you sleep, if there's any challenge, the angels come and operate in you, amen? They operate on you, and when you wake up, you feel light. Praise the Lord. And um, you receive information, amen? So because if it is in the day you pray, sometimes if you're not spiritually akin, then you, could, you have to wait till night. But at this very point, after you pray, it's not going to be long before you get revelation while you sleep. And so as you put on this to practice, you will surely see the hand of God. So at this very point, if this video has given you any value, if you have not yet subscribed, this is your first time, please do so. Subscription is free and you shall surely be blessed. Please do share this video and like it. Amen. That way, you are partnering with Jesus to evangelize the world. Praise the Lord. Just by sharing and liking the video. Praise the Lord. So you're doing very well. And if you have any testimony so far in most of the things you have learned here, please do well to share your testimony. Because the testimony you are keeping is not yours. It's the testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. So when you share what God has done for you, you help boost the faith of others. Amen. And as you do so, not only will you retain your testimony, but God shall surely bless you even more. Amen. So this video also is going to help you. Till I come your way next time, Shalom.